Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Uh, I know you guys are sick and tired of these things, but just gotta talk about this guy for one second. So, when I showed it yesterday in the video, or the other day in the video, yeah, uh, it was perfect, and then when I got on the camera, it got blade play, so as amazing as that is, you know, I was pretty pissed while I was actually making the video. But today, you know, I have one more option, okay, so the backspacer didn't work. But I have one more option to choose from. Basically, what I did was I took the stop pin right out and uh, basically made a new stop pin. And this one is, you know, I used actually, I don't know, it's like a, a transfer punch set. They got these little rods. You know, using the mark where, uh, you know, you hammer it and you mark where you're going to start drilling or whatever basically took one that was a little bit thicker, well, it's actually a lot thicker, and just sawed off a piece, basically made a stop bar, see that thing is real thick, compared to, uh... come on focus, you see how thick that is compared to the other one, it's a little bit thicker, um, so basically did that, expanded the holes and, um, the only way I could do it, pretty much, and I uh, sandblast it, put the uh, blue backspacer at request, which looks really sick, by the way. I haven't thought about putting blue with carbon with a uh, titanium, but this is awesome looking. I really like the blue next to it. But this thing is first off, it's like all right, perfectly centered, smooth as hell, early ass lockup ridiculously this thing feels like the most solid knife I have ever held I'm not even shitting you right now like it was a lot of work but now I know what I'm doing you know to fix any problems there are I'll be doing this more but the only thing I had to do basically was to cut in see I left it unsandblasted cut into the blade a little bit for extra space because otherwise uh, it's a little tight I'm just gonna carbonize that um, but before, you know, if I left there, I was, it would have been sticking up like right there. But it's just, it's got that perfect detent there. It's just absolutely perfect. And dude, I sandblasted everything. Because um, I usually sandblast before I stonewash it. And it looks really good sandblasted, man. I mean, just really clean. And I still did the polish on here, the slight polish, but I think it looks real good this way, man. Uh, if you want it back to the, you know, anodized here and stone washed and all that shit, I'm more than happy to do it. I just wanted to throw this out there because it looks so good. And it's just so freaking perfect. So, uh, this epic journey is over officially, and I have put this thing through the ringer. I even tapped the spine just to make sure, but that thing is not, you know, that's not budging. That is on there. And there's no more bullshit with this thing. It's perfect. It's actually probably like as solid as like a real Anzo now. I uh, just have to uh, discarbonize that just so it's a little bit smoother. But it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And I love it. And also, I like this one so much. I showed this last night that uh, you know, right after I did the video, I had a few minutes and I found my Anzo blade. So I made myself one in uh, toxic green. So it looks pretty cool. See, this is this is my blade. It's fucked up. You see that little cut right there? Look at the all this shit going on here. Yeah. But I did that through there. That didn't work too well. And uh, I had to put this. There. I wore away at the frame lock there. Well, the little the little thing that holds it. The little uh, straight line. Uh, actually wore away, so I had to put a Phillips air flathead so I could actually uh, make it tight. But these guys look cool next to each other. But I do have something besides these guys, so... Um, so let me make them look nice and pretty for the camera. Smile, guys. Man, they look so sexy. This knife is definitely, definitely sick. So I'm having trouble sharpening mine up again. Okay, so... Now, you guys know the epic journey that I had with the Delica. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I love the Delica. 
Uh, as you can see, I use it a lot. Um, it's basically my shop knife. I use it for everything. It's not even pocket clip. I don't even EDC it. I just use it, use the shit out of it in here. But, you know, it's nice and solid lock, you know? But you guys know that it's just the way it's built is just fucking stupid. I'm sorry. It's just, I mean, it's fine if you don't ever take it apart, but, you know, it's just... I didn't think it could be topped, but, you know, apparently Benchmade was like, Hey, Spyderco's got a really stupidly constructed knife. Why don't we make one, too? So then they come out with the Pikachu. So, <laughs> no offense, guys. It's a cool knife, definitely, but they're not made for pimping. I'm just going to tell you. I'm just That's all I'm going to say about it. They're just not made to customize and take the handles off and whatever. So, the first one I did is a failure. Um, here it is in Jade. Um, this one is going to be redone. Problem with this one is, um, the reason I'm not like showing this as like something I'm really happy with is, uh, it was actually broken when I opened it. Like these were new. Uh, I know the the guy. Uh, this is uh, from Chosen Seven X Seven. You should check out his channel. But I know you know he got them new and um, you know they were fine. But this one, the backspacer has this little tab that comes up right here where that's this pin is. Yes, the whole thing is, the whole lock system is held together by a microscopic pin like the size of a needle head. I don't understand the logic there, but whatever, it's besides the freaking point, it's ridiculous, so. And this one actually fixed up that part about it. There's actually a standoff here that's nice and thick that actually goes through and into like just basically the other side. But, um, yeah, there's a new pattern on here that I'm working on too, and uh, I'm kind of pissed that it didn't work out because this pattern's really sick. But you know, I can refine it before I redo it. But um, yeah, I mean, it works. It works good, it's centered. It's just not the smoothest thing in the world, and there's blade play because it's busted in there. So I'm gonna have to figure out. I might buy one of these for myself if I can find one because they're another cheap, and I wouldn't mind having one. You know, half busted. I don't care. But just to get this thing to work for for Mike. But yeah, that's the messed up one, guys, and uh, it's just basically a redesign of the of the Delica. It's just the same thing, like it's just really crappy little plastic tabs in there. But the other one was not broken, which was cool because you know it worked out perfect. So masterpiece of the evening, even though this one is my life's work right here. So got the Pikachu blade, which is really sweet. I like. I like this, and it is ridiculously sharp. It's the 8CR 13 MOV steel, so it won't stay sharp for long. Oh, it's 9CR 13 MOV. Okay, never mind. I don't have any experience with 9CR, so. And uh, they're first production. And on this guy, working out perfectly, is the black and yellow G10. With the Anzo pattern, with the small cuts. Uh, I do these like real small cuts in there. You can see them, so it gives it a squared off look. Because I've been having, I'm not liking, you know, when I do the beveling, if the beveling's not the most perfect thing in the world, the line around the outside looks really bad. Like it looks all uneven. So I put those in there, and it kind of gives it a more machine look and uh, kind of like a design element in itself. But you can see this guy is 100% perfect. I mean. Just as it should be. It's actually a lot smoother. Feels a lot more solid. Got this crappy pocket clip. Well, it's actually a good, good pocket clip, but you know, nice and ergonomic. I think the other one I'm gonna go with something. You know, try to make it better. Cause I usually keep one liner out on one side, which I did on this one, and I do on the Delicas and Enduros. Cause uh, with the liners, that's when I've had all the problems, and those it works a lot better. With this guy, I think the fix will be actually to do it with both sides line, with the liners, because maybe that'll act that, add that extra stability to fix it up. But, you know, you can see it went some trouble there. I lost some black on the pins, so that's why I'm probably going to get a new one. Or sandblast them, make them look nice. They're fine, they're just, you know, sometimes it just gets a little frustrating, so. You gotta, <laughs> I was to the point of no return, so I had to force it in there to, just to make sure I could even do it. But, you know, you guys obviously know that I, you know, will go all out to fix anything that, you know, I know Mike won't care because he knows I can fix it up, make it look nice. I'll probably sandblast everything. Uh, not the blades, though. Maybe even just polish them up real shiny. Like, uh, <clears throat> I wish I could do it before and after. 
I got this Sabenza, and it basically looked like hell on earth. I mean, you can see this thing is pretty old, it's from 97. This thing, when I got it, it looked like someone ran it over with a truck a few times and then threw it in a pool and then basically cut their lunch with it for about 13 years. So, here it is now. A classic small Sabenza. Polished up all the hardware. Looking nice and shiny. Sorry, I'm a little, a little bit giddy today. Got nice purple anodized. It's just flawless. Looks brand new. There's some scratches on the blade, they came off too. I mean, the only thing needs to be done with this is just needs to be sharpened nicely. But, uh, you know. If you send me something, like, to get customized, feel free to send something like this along with it. You know, something that needs to be refurbished. I don't mind doing that for you guys. I mean, I don't really charge, um... You know, if it's something big, like a Sabenza, whatever, that takes, you know, Sabenzas are very easy to take apart, put together. Um, they're really easy to refurbish, like, back to perfect, so. You know, feel free to send any scratched up titanium stuff or, you know, something you want, you know, sandblasted. You know, I'll do that for free. I mean, if you add a bunch of stuff, I may just add, like, 25 bucks or something, but, you know, but I'm not really big on doing it all by itself because I got enough stuff here. And, uh, you know, the more stuff, the more confusing it gets, you know, and something's sitting there and, you know, I can't get to it. I feel bad just doing a small job that takes me like two or three weeks to do because I've got other stuff ahead of it. So, but unfortunately I would have done more today, but these really took my time, like killed me. I woke up this morning and I, I was hell bent on making this one perfect, which I've woken up many a morning trying to get this one perfect, but... You know, this is my last option, and it's it's gorgeous. I would pay $400 for this freaking thing the way it is. It feels so damn good. It, like, I don't know. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's just so damn clean looking, especially that blue, man. Good freaking choice, because that looks so sick next to the gray. I think I may be doing something like this for myself. And guys, I will be doing a shop tour video soon. So, I man, I know people have been asking about it a little bit. Man, that is locked. Yeah, that fresh sandblast and everything. It's sticking. But don't worry about it. That's yeah, rock solid. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. No more Anzo 67s. I got two more, but you know, they're not done yet, so I'll give it a few days. So don't worry. I know you're sick of them. But I'm just glad to have mine back, and I sharpened the shit out of it, and it's still dull. So, I need to go watch some of uh, Jay Davis's videos, I guess. Later.